Hi, I'm Dr. Casperson, and I wanted to talk to you today about pelvic exams. So nobody wants a pelvic exam. Nobody wants to go meet a new doctor and have a pelvic exam. But I'm talking today specifically about female pelvic exams and how they're so important in diagnosing and helping to treat pelvic complaints. I see a lot of women with overactive bladder, pelvic pain, recurrent urinary tract infections, pain with sex, pain in their pelvis, and very frequently they'll come to me and nobody will have done a pelvic exam. It's a lot of women's belief that I don't need it anymore because I'm not of childbearing age or I don't need it anymore because I've had a hysterectomy. Basically the pelvis is the big black box of medicine. And I question people this way, I say, what other part of the body do you go to the doctor for and say that it hurts and you don't look at it? So do you, would you ever go to the doctor and say, hey, my ear hurts and the doctor doesn't look at it, just gives you maybe some antibiotics or some pain meds and sends you on your way? You don't, you look at the owie. And in the female pelvis, there's so many tissues and layers and muscles and skin and organs to investigate what's going on that it's very, very common that I will do a pelvic exam and A, a woman hasn't had one in years even though she's been complaining of pelvic complaints or number two, she's had a pelvic exam and she's been told it's normal down there, but she still has pain, she still has issues. So I beg you to rise to the challenge. If a woman comes in with pelvic complaints, please do a pelvic exam. If you're not comfortable doing a pelvic exam, find a mentor or somebody who's experienced to learn how to identify pathology. And then number two, if you're a woman and a doctor wants to do a pelvic exam, they're just being thorough. They're not there to be annoying. They're not there to say, oh, this is unnecessary. Every single woman that comes into my practice for a pelvic complaint gets a pelvic exam. I had a woman ask me the other day, she's like, oh, do we have to do this? And I said, absolutely, yes. You came to me with bladder complaints and pelvic issues. I can't not look at the owie. And she just said she wasn't prepared for that. Well, we've failed her with expectations of saying, you go to the doctor with a pelvic complaint, nobody's gonna look. And that doesn't mean that that's right. Another woman I had recently, she kept going to her primary care provider for recurrent urinary tract infections. And I asked her, I said, when was the last time anybody's done a pelvic exam? And she said, 2013. So we did a pelvic exam and there were significant, significant findings on her pelvic exam that had somebody looked or been thorough, she wouldn't have suffered so long for something she was calling UTIs and her provider was calling UTIs. So if you come see me, you're gonna get a pelvic exam. If you come for any bladder incontinence, leakage, pelvic pain, pain with sex, any of those, expect a pelvic exam. Expect any doctor who's thorough and work, treats this to do pelvic exams. It's not because we're trying to inconvenience you or embarrass you, it's because it's thorough, it's required, and simply it's good medicine.